Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for January 27th, 2019. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, a total of 18 players, with T1B getting a mysterious 1210, Mustika getting a pretty much maximum 880, deck avoiding 870 thanks to some slime damage, Deno, LB, Marvin, ITJ, and myself an 860, followed by Quietus11 and Tonfun, who probably took a little bit of slime damage off of 860, and Darguard in 11th with an 840, getting two ticks of slime damage. Today, today I need to remember to upload, and I'm barely recording on time. There's about two hours left to the next reset, so uh, just about forgot. Today we have above average drone health with sensors, and three infestations on a military bee, so might be okay sized. Gonna have to worry about possibility of swarms, but have a good chance of having defenses. Okay, there are swarms as well. Alright, let's have a look in here. There is a vent, so I want to be careful with this room. Oh, double bad points. Go ahead and do this. The rest of the ship. Okay. I can't. Uh... All right. Was a leaper. Hopefully, the other infestation is a sentry. And of course, we're dealing with a swarm threat with R4, which is going to keep me from doing anything with that room until I find a lure or it spawns, which means there may be a bit of a wait. Which means I might need to edit this video. Which is unfortunate. Meow. Meow. I may as well wait from the safety and comfort of my own home. As it were. With my cat screaming at me. What? Wow. <sighs> this is the part that I'm going to fast forward, I think, because who knows how long I'll be waiting. That said, I probably should. It was D7? Yes, it was. If there's slime, there's only a small chance that it could be a problem. And worst case scenario, I can move into R5 while I destroy it in R3. Oh! I 
I also made the mistake of leaving two on the ship. And that was a one minute warning? No, that was a two minute warning. Well, I get the feeling I'm not going to get a chance to find out. Damn. What were the chances there? Fairly high. Fairly high. Damn. Well, I saw that LB made a comment. I didn't read what it was. But I suspect that R2 is about to get hit. And with R4 having not yet spawned... Well, R4 is about to get hit as well. Uh, I think we're about to lose a lot of this ship. And... I'm not particularly inclined to check R7 to see if it's safe. As well as there's a chance that R7 is not going to be safe anyway. So I'm just going to have to accept that this might be it. This was potentially going to be an interesting ship, but with an asteroid strike this soon in... And we're looking at probably about 10 seconds from now. I'm not even going to have to... I'm not even going to have to speed this up, am I? Bonus points. Be an R7 so I don't even need to check it. That is terrible. It must have been an R6. No, it was R4. How did the radiation start in R6, but R4 was the one that was vented? Or maybe... No, yeah. That is weird. It may not have radiated because the pipe was going to happen and it hadn't yet. That's... That is confusing. Backwards radiation. Okay, shit. This is... A truly... Phenomenally... Terrible idea. I don't like doing this. I can't... I don't think I can see far enough into the room to tell for sure. There's nothing else in the room. Alright, well that was useless. Yeah... Yeah... Not terribly surprising there, I guess. Total of 690. Seven scrap from the ship. Starting score of 550, and nothing else to find. If you were super entrepreneuring like LB is, uh, and uh, super bold in getting into these rooms, you might have been able to to explore actually most of the ship. But not knowing when the swarm was going to spawn, that would be extremely difficult and extremely brazen. But I guess he has done stuff like that before. And so far, LB 735, getting one scrap from a sentry, so that was the other infestation. I probably should have considered opening up all the doors, especially when I knew there was that strike at two minutes. And uh, seeing if a sentry moved in there. We have T1B at 717 with some radiation. Rustico with a 710. Burning Ostaco with a 690, along with Dano, Marvin, and myself. B mode 68 scored a 675. That's an unexpected number. And Decavoid a 652.
Now I'm getting more confused at how people are getting mixed numbers, but not having... How... I don't think it's possible for Decavoid to score a 652 without taking damage. So I am very confused now. And then Quietus won one with a 645. And Dark Garden left with a 600. Lost a drone but did get ship scan. Well, didn't lose a drone but took a, took a leaper hit. That is very confusing. One might even say bizarre. Well, we'll have to figure that out. If you haven't done your run yet, well, you've got two hours to do it. If you have, leave a comment with your own experiences and strategies for a ship like this. Overall... Could have been a very interesting ship, I think, even though it was a little on the small side. But the, uh, the asteroid strike really cut that short. If you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Copper, Dino 416, LB, Mustika 21, Dargard, Decavoid, Murkowler, Korintoth, and Agenta 1999, all listed in the video description. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.